on the new record, there's a song that says, uh, is it called I Will, Erica? Love You That Much. Love You That Much. Mm. And uh, yeah, that, what, which one is it? Love You That Much. It's number eight, y'all, when the record come out July 19th. Listen to number eight. And it's our favorite song, because we were just kind of... It's only a cover. It's only okay. a cover. Put it back. Little record. Thank you, would you? But uh, the song says, if you tell me to go, I'm going to tell you I will, because I love you that much. If you tell me to stay and be still, I will, because I love you that much. Tell me what to say, even if I'm afraid, and I will, because I love you that much. It doesn't matter, whatever, whenever, I will. And my verse is kind of like a personal, uh, it's my personal situation. It says, nowadays, everybody, that was me, wants to be in control. Wow. Trying to be the leader, me, when I never really wanted to follow. Wow. Got no information and no direction and way too much pride when it ain't that hard to just ask the Lord to be the guide. Wow. And so now I'm learning that that is what you do, baby. You, how much information you think you got? Right. God made the information. You studying his stuff. Right. You're what right. do you know? You're right. Just, just a fra I, I don't even know if we can classify it as a fraction. You know nothing. You have right. no information. You have no direction. You have no destiny right. without God. And I understand that nowadays. Wow. Before I take a step, it's like, oh, God, yeah. I, know, yeah. I know I'll be trying to be the boss, but... What are we doing here? Right. Am I, should I back up now? What, what's going on here? Yeah. Because I want to be in God's perfect will, not right. in his permissive will. Right. I don't want to get some of what God has for me. I want to get all of what God has for me. I don't want to have a partially nice, help a couple people ministry. I want to have God's abundance so God can be glorified. Otherwise, I can sing something else. I can go out there and do some other things and get all of the worldly you know, perks that comes with it. But I want God to be like, that's my girl. Right. I yes, told her yes. to do it, and she did it. Yes. I threw her the ball, and she didn't fumble. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to keep myself in God's will so he can smile on me. No, I don't know sports, but I don't want to fumble the ball when God throw it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to kind of echo what, um, what Erica was saying. I, I grew up in that, in that environment that if you blew it, if you, like, dropped the ball, right. if you fumbled, you had become that less right. qualified right. to do something. So there was always like this rap sheet that I, I believed. I mean, God bless everybody who taught us the best they knew. But I sort of believed yeah. like, oh, man, see, I blew it there. Therefore, I could have been Billy Graham. But now that I blew it, I'll never be Billy Graham. So let me try and be, you know, somebody else. And it, it's really funny when, when God comes into the picture and says, listen, I love you the way you are, and I already walked your days out, so I knew what was going down before it ever went down, yeah. and I made provision for that. I remember, though, before having that encounter, yeah. I, I would have people come up to me all the time. You know, when you're a worship leader in a church and you're 19 and some guest pastor comes up, they're always like, where's that young black fella who was playing the keyboard? Come here, son. God wants to tell you. Yeah. And, they'd all, and I, every week, right. I'd there's hear, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, and he's going to, and God told me to tell you, and and so I'd hear that, and, and then there were always like the parking lot prophets, too, who right. would come. Oh, yeah. 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 Bathroom. Bathroom prophets, man, are the worst. I'm like, wash your hands before you, <laughs> before you lay hands on them. But <clears throat> I, I would have, like, for, for a stretch of time, I had people going, your wife is coming. Your wife, I believe, I see your wife. You know, I'm 22 years old or something. Your wife is coming. I'm like, man, I need to, like, you know grow up before my wife comes but right, right. but I was I, I was always terrified because I said Lord I really like would like to be in control on the whole wife piece if right. you don't mind because because <laughs> yes, really. I was terrified no man I was terrified because I'm like God if I tr I'll trust in the Lord with all my heart except this piece <laughs> this piece I'm gonna lean to my understanding I've got a checklist and I got some things that I need done before I turn it all over to you. And, and, and it sounds funny now, but I'm talking, I was terrified. Because I'm thinking, okay, I travel internationally, right, right, right. I'm gonna end up in Africa, and there's gonna be some girl who's like taller than Yolanda, <laughs> come out of the bush somewhere, go, God told me I am your wife. <laughs> you know, and I, and like the whole lip thing, the lip thing, and the ear thing, and the nose thing. I thought for sure that's what I was going to end up with. But oh, to, to obey is better than sacrifice, is what Jay had said. So I remember having this one night kind of like Jacob had, you know, wrestling, man. And I'm like, God, listen, man, please, just, just leave me alone on this one. I'll bring her to you. You bless it. 
it's all good. We'll move on. I saw other people do that, you know. Did I say that out loud? My bad, my bad, my bad. But I remember the Lord saying, let me see your little list. He goes, I can bless all this or you can just trust me. And, and if you'll obey me when I say this is it, then it's going to be okay. And I remember the night I met my wife, I shook her hand. And, of course, I had been seeing her from the stage. And I was singing, you know, a song to Jesus. But in my mind, I was singing. <laughs> be honest, Isn't she lovely? Yeah. And God, God is good, man. But I, I ended up meeting her. And I, I, I tell you, I heard this voice as, as clearly as I'm speaking right now. It said, be careful what you say next, because this is your wife. And, and immediately, my checklist and my little dumb list went away. And, and 11 years later, I am, I am the most blessed man on the planet because of obedience. And, and, and who I am as a minister today, I'll tell you, you've met Melissa. If it hadn't, you all have met Melissa. If it hadn't been for Melissa, I would be the biggest punchline to every joke you ever heard. Um, I, she's the queen. I'm, I'm like this foot soldier trying to make it to the castle, but she is the most regal, royal, beautiful woman on the planet. And, and who I am as a minister and as a man and as a father and just as a brother is because of, of, of her completing my life. But without obedience, without obedience, I certainly wouldn't be sitting here. I'd be at home with my checklist, depressed. <laughs> I'd be with uh, Umbaga. Umbaga. I was trying to avoid Umbaga. Umbaga. <laughs> you know you wrong, right? Tall, oh. Taller than you. But gee, that's, like, that's tall. But that's what Umbaga means, taller, taller than, than Yolanda. Yolanda. <laughs> Umbaga is going to be good crazy. for somebody, Oh, though. my God. That... Umbaga is going to be somebody else's obedience. Y'all about yeah. to get that so many letters obedience. and emails <laughs> on this like, show. I, I don't know her. Whoever she is, I don't know her. I'm sorry. Stretch Umbaga. your hands toward Umbaga. <laughs> That, that was Israel, ladies, the ladies and gentlemen. The views expressed by that some of these panel members <laughs> have, not have nothing to do. Look, have nothing to do that's with just Jay my story. I'm sticking that's, to my that's stuff. His story. I'm a that, blessed man. But it's a blessing because you know we we uh, we're so straight and never laugh. And we were just talking in the back. Uh, you know, you gotta laugh. Yes. You gotta. You know, the, the laughter does the heart good. You know, it's like good medicine. Do it every day and you'll be all right. You know. But 